Here's problem 9-4. A 1.6 kilogram ball is attached to the end of a 0.4 meter string to form a pendulum. This pendulum is released from rest with the string horizontal. At the lowest point of its swing, when it's moving horizontally, the ball collides with a 0.8 kilogram block initially at rest on a horizontal frictionless surface. The speed of the block just after the collision is 3 meters per second. What's the speed of the ball just after the collision? All right, let's try to visualize what we have here. We have a ball on the end of a string, and the length of the string is 0.4 meters. Mass of the ball, let's call it M1, is 1.6 kilograms. It's going to swing down. to a lower position and it's going to strike a block that's on a frictionless surface. Mass of the block, let's call this M2, is 0.8 kilograms. It has an initial velocity of zero because it's at rest. So this is really two problems in one. We're going to have uh, conservation of energy to determine the initial velocity of mass 1 right before it hits the block. And then we're going to have conservation momentum associated with the collision itself. So, two problems in one. It's a bonus problem. Yay. So, let's uh, figure out the uh, speed of mass 1 first. Now, since it's starting from rest, <coughs> and it's going down a definite height, height being the length of the string in this case, 0.4 meters, the uh, velocity initial for mass 1 is going to be the square root of 2gh. So that's going to be 2 times 9.8 times 0.4 meters square root. And if we figure that out, that's 2.8 meters per second. So that's the initial velocity of mass 1 right before it hits mass 2. Alright, so we're ready to do our conservation of mo momentum. Mass 1, velocity 1 initial, plus mass 2, velocity 2 initial, should equal mass 1, velocity 1 final, plus mass 2, velocity 2 final. Conservation of momentum, which is always going to apply to our problems of collisions. So in this case, we have a 1.6 kilogram mass 1 with initial velocity of 2.8 meters per second plus mass 2, which is 0.8 kilograms. Initial velocity of 0, because it's at rest, should equal mass 1, 1 1.6, times final velocity, which we wish to find out, plus mass 2, which is 0.8, times the final velocity, and we're told that the speed of the block just after the collision is 3 meters per second. So we have a bunch of numbers and velocity 1 final. This is 0 right there. So we can solve for the unknown. So we will have that 1.6 v1 final is equal to 1.6 times 2.8 minus 3 times 0.8, which would be 2.4. So V1 final is going to equal 2.08 so divided by 1.6. And I get 1.3 meters per second. So that is the final velocity of the ball just after the collision, 1.3 meters per second. We had to use uh, conservation of kinetic energy for the um, first part of the experiment where there was no collision just to find our initial velocity. But then with the collision, we had to use conservation of momentum to figure out the final velocity. And that's how we, we had to go about it.